Cusco, what is Claire want? Do you want to type for me? <laughs> oh my god, you should let it. <laughs> you want to type, Bubba? <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> okay, okay. He's like pawing up at me. Then Come he on. definitely wants to play too. <laughs> Come here. Get on the... Yep, nope. Come on. Oh, you are so sweet. You are so sweet. You are my son. Come here. Oh, okay, Papa. Tight. Ooh, good job. Wow. She's gonna know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> Go. Send it. I I don't know. She didn't know. How Cusco. dare I'm she? So sorry. She insulted my poor son. We hate Claire. <laughs> we hate Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Can't insult Cusco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why did why did you not talk to my cat but talk to some special little girl fishing? Uh, she lives on the other side oh, of the Oh no. Hello, everyone. Oh. Hello. Welcome Hello. to a pre-birthday stream. Because this will be your last stream with... I hate doing this to you. <laughs> yeah. This will be your last stream. Like of my plasma 20s. coin of your 20s. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, right now we're convincing all my coworkers that I'm actually 48. Oh well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So I'm turning 49. Yeah, of your 48. <laughs> yeah, my 48th year <laughs> of living, you know. Yeah, just in case <laughs> you know your coworkers decide to pop in uh, before your yeah. actual birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nope. It's it's a good it's a good goof that we have going right now. I have a few folks really kind of actually believing it and it's really funny but yeah, i can't because i've never seen me it's all at our other location in gr i can so respect that have, <laughs> like there is a photo of me but they don't know if that's me it could be of my child for all they know oh my, my God. other co-worker has like a photo of his child and she's a baby but what if my baby is grown up because i'm 49 but oh my god <laughs> <laughs> um, but no so speaking of funny birthday stuff Besides us starting the stream egregiously late, and I know Bye -bye. everyone's real hyped to get back into Dr. Decker. Uh-oh. The stream went gray. Gray? Oh, I know why. My computer does this thing where if I don't have either Streamlabs or Discord, like, both screens have to be minimized. So I think Fun. it's a Streamlabs issue. If I don't have Streamlabs, like, showing somewhere on my screen, mm -hmm. the screen grays out. It's a fun little glitch that I absolutely hate. I haven't figured out the proper solution yet outside of having, like, 50,000 minimized windows. <laughs> weird <laughs> but as long as you can see the game that's what counts exactly so, so let me like, tell you a funny there. story anyway yes let me tell you this funny story before we get into whatever seriousness we're gonna get into here with dr decker and oh, what have you so i had to go to the bmv today now as we know going to the bmv is always oh so eventful um it's so exciting. You just love to go there and deal with the most sassiest women. Like, I swear, you have to be, like, like adjacent sidestep of a Karen to work there. I swear. Like, every single one of them is just evil to me. At least at the, my location. But today... Oh, boy, was today... Oh, so not different at all. Because... <laughs> because what happened was... Yep, nope, no, don't worry. <laughs> so I drive up, and now what? It's a Wednesday. Kind of cloudy, kind of rainy. It's been raining on and off all day in our area. 
Me too. And I was like, oh, it probably won't be busy. It's a Wednesday. The lies I tell myself when that parking lot is full. And I was like, ah, oh yes, of course. Now, trust me, I'm very confused. So as I'm walking up, one, the place smells like ass. I don't know what has been in the Cincinnati air, but it smells like absolute ass. <laughs> Like, and it's awful. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Are we just using, like, egg water everywhere? Like, are we just, like, blowing sulfur about? Is, like, the chemtrails finally getting us? Is all the, like, conspiracy <laughs> theorists want to believe? But I walk up, and as I'm walking to the door, it's made out of glass and stuff. And <laughs> I hear shouting. And I'm like, oh, no. I don't want to be in this building for like an hour and a half with just someone shouting about something about their car, of all things, right? Mm hmm So I get to the glass door, and for whatever reason, their glass is like mirrored, so I can never like fully see inside, even with my new glasses, until I'm like right on the door. It's bizarre. And yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. But don't worry. I then realize it's almost empty in there. Like, everyone that's in there is already at the counter. And I'm like weird and <laughs> there's this gentleman shouting up a storm now mind you we have like those little like touch pads where they now like text your phone when they like tell you they're gonna like speak to you instead of the little like paper ticket or whatever right yeah and so i'm in the middle of starting it and the guy is shouting he's like you guys haven't you haven't served me and blah 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 and <laughs> if somebody was to walk right in here right now i bet you would just serve them instead of serving me <laughs> and i'm in the middle of typing my thing and the lady goes ma'am would you mind stepping up here real quick i'll just take care of you now <laughs> i've never been on the opposite side of the sass of these women and i was not mad i literally walked in and it was out within like two minutes <laughs> because uh... this old man was losing his mind over not being served or his number was it called I don't know what happened. I don't know why. I don't know why the woman decided to be the most pass not even passive aggressive. Because it wasn't passive. She did it in broad daylight in front of a fully staffed countertop <laughs> and was like, just come here. I'll serve you. Oh, you want to threaten me with saying that, like, you know, <laughs> I'm going to serve the next person that just walks in and it happens to be me? Uh... Oh, boy. I was cackling, so I got in and out, and then he was just still <laughs> screaming after I left. It was the funniest shit I had ever witnessed. Ever. Mm. It was so good. I was like, dang. I strive to be that mean. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. I could only dream to be that sassy at my job. And I know when she goes home for dinner tonight with her, like, very overly annoyed husband... She's gonna talk about me. I'm that old man. <laughs> that old man. <laughs> and I cannot wait to be someone's dinner table talk. Oh my god, no, that's actually great. Oh yeah. I was rolling when I got out and then I called like Jordan back and he was like, You're already out? And I was like, Yeah, you ain't gonna believe what just happened to me. <laughs> and he was just like, What the hell are they doing in Ohio? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, Philadelphia's crying, and I'm crying with them, and yet I'm sitting here in Ohio, losing my mind over <laughs> going to the BMV, and then just <laughs> having the most ridiculous experience, and I was like, you know, I should have expected this. But anyways. Each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it. Oh, I forgot we have to deal with her time. now. Keep up, Doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Her in her sleep. I'm a Ugh. grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. Didn't we figure out, Bryce, that we don't have to deal with him? I'm a qualified angel of death. I think so. I'm Good. Dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. Uh, Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? Mariana, you still make me angry. I'm, I feel like we were working on Mariana, weren't we? We are. I see that. We finished Lacey, Jasmine, yeah, we finished Bryce. Yeah, because at the end, Jaya, like, had the whole jump scare. I remember that. Yeah. And now we're orange with Mariana, so we found the key points, but we're still gonna deal with her. We have Jaya, Claire, and Nathan left. So, what happened? Oh. 
Yes, hire them. Oh, that's right. We were talk. We slightly started talking to Jaya, and they were like, "Oh, this is gonna be a lot more yeah. than what it needs to be." So, with Mariana, let's see. Oh, she has double point for Doctor Decker. Oof. High Sea Witch still, of course, has a star there because I never thought she'd actually respond to it. <laughs> I forgot um, about that. Yeah. Same. Yeah. No, Mariana. <laughs> okay. First off, Mariana responds to like the most out of pocket shit because she also she does oops um she also responded to something weird in the first day i remember too yeah so we have valentine's day and did you like dr decker oh right uh so let's just go with valentine what were you doing on valentine's day what'd you do girl what did you I do i didn't have anything to do on valentine's day i washed my hair and i walked along the beach for the whole night it's actually true. Were we supposed okay. to believe that's not true? Like... Oh, that's right. Let's go to our... No, I need this back. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want clues. I don't want patience. I want my notes. I thought Marianne said she didn't drink. That's correct, too. It was Valentine's night. I So she's saying she was on the beach. Did we notate that? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Look at us. Past <laughs> us doing great. Alright, so she's like, I was at the beach. I was at the beach. How was the beach? I miss... She. Her whole thing is fixating right now on, I miss the beach. I yeah. do remember that. Oh, yeah. Like, every question we did ends ask with, I miss the beach. I want to yeah. be at the beach. Why the beach. the beach? I'm really a mermaid. I can actually see her being a mermaid. Like, plot twist. <laughs> the 25th Truly. hour is real and Mariana is a mermaid, which is why she's blacking out all the time. Bruh, no, nah, she's a siren. Oh, that's right. No, nah, we did have that. Bruh, she, she gives siren vibes because she kept trying. We were supposed to go on a date with her. Yeah, that's right. She kept flirting with us. And I feel oh, like I it happened like again, like, in the last time we played through this. Oh, my God. What's even worse is I have now a different neighbor, but he's like a chill, cool, chill dude. Ew. But I know he plays on Xbox, so he told me if he's ever yelling, it's either at his cat or men on Xbox. Damn, okay. <laughs> Could it be so his funny. cat who's also playing on the Xbox? I like to imagine he is, <laughs> truly. Alright, so what did she say? I already I forgot. I didn't have anything to do on you lied. Day. I washed my hair, and I walked along the beach for the whole night. Why did you wash your hair? True. What kind of shampoo do you use? We could be a total creep about it. <laughs> Why did you wash your hair? Like, some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. Okay. Do you think my hair is pretty, Doctor? Honestly, yeah, I do like her hair. It is really pretty. Yes, I do think your hair is pretty. <laughs> it's such a mess. But thank you. What? So is that like well, the end of that? Well, glad that cleared that. <laughs> uh, it cleared the bottom one, but now we have the oh. why did you wash your hair? What? As an option still. I hate that. Some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't oh, want to go out. Oh, did you not but want to go out? Yeah, did you not want to go out? Clueless. Listen, bitch. <laughs> okay, I should have listened to the whole thing. Or Some maybe girls do you say that out? they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. But why? Do you think my hair is pretty, Doctor? Maybe, um... Did your hair feel... No... Oh, um, did you go swimming? Maybe did that- Did you go swimming? Don't know. No, that's fair, actually. It's cold in here. Do you want okay. a jacket? <laughs> it wasn't an actual response, so it was just like one of her like, oh no, you dummy. But that, that's a weird one. Okay. Um... Oh, my phone. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's my ring. It's my ring doorbell stuff. We've been having some wild things happen on my ring doorbell, and I don't Ooh. know why, but it's really funny. Like, this is the most, like, literally my ring doorbell app is now, like, me watching, like, Maury. 
Oh my god. Like pater I've been also on a weird kick of watching a lot of Paternity Court. Like, I'll have it on the side when I'm working from home, and it is, like, I've reached, I've peaked in culture. But anyhow, <laughs> of watching Paternity Court, it's really good. It's really entertaining, and the Ring Camera app reminds me very much of that same vibe. But anyhow, okay, why did you wash your hair? Some girls say, who says that? Don't ask me. Girl, the lies. No, I've never heard a woman be like, I'm washing my hair, I can't go out. Like, no, they wash their hair to go out. Or is that just me? Hmm. Were you not wanting to go out? No idea. Okay. Um, did you want to go out? Did you... Did you want to go out? On Valentine's uh, Yeah, because she might actually be like, yes, I'd love to go on a date with you. Oh my god. Some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. Do you think my hair is pretty, Doctor? Did you think I thought you were lying about washing your hair? Woman, I'm gonna cry. What What do you want from me? Some girls say that yeah. they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. Do people How... not believe you, maybe? Do people not believe you no idea is that a dance move are you uh, you know move? i i would love to see you create a dance move called do people not believe you <laughs> <laughs> yo it's an usher song you know it Oof. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um um okay uh did anyone join you on the beach? Okay, we're done with the beach. We're on this hair washing. Some girls say, Who told you that girls wash their hair when they don't want to go out? Not go out? Sorry, say that again. Not go out? Don't know. <laughs> Show me, say it again. <laughs> Some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely. Were you washing your hair so you didn't have to go out? Um. What else? Why? Why Hair? do people say that? Uh, why do people why say wash? that? Why wash? Don't ask me. Oh, maybe why just wash question wash. mark? Clueless. <laughs> wash? I don't. <coughs> Woman! Oh, oh my god, I'm That's... so sorry. Loki dying. <laughs> Mariana tries. Well, come Mariana's back, you know, trying to kill me. Dude, okay. Okay, so she's like, I genuinely was washing my hair. Well, Do you disingenuously her. wash it? <laughs> I am glad. I'm glad you're your washing your hair. <laughs> hair is clean. I'm glad you no hair idea. is sparkly. Oh, maybe, how um, do did you, you end up feel... going out? Well, she, we know she went to the beach. Did you end up going out? Clueless. Bitch. Is a, a horrible movie. No, I'm just kidding. Um, um, okay. Why do you need to ask if your hair is pretty? God, no, that sounds f stupid. What do you think about my hair <laughs> don't know okay maybe do you think your hair is pretty do you think your hair is pretty i think it is i've always Maria. like 
people with red hair. Like, it's such a cool hair color. Like, genuinely, as me, ATP. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll come back to this. What? That, no, I really want to clear it out, because then once we... Because if not, it's going to get lost in the freaking weeds. Some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. Do you think my hair is pretty, Doctor? Did we ask her if... Why... She thinks her hair... Um, why does she feel like she needs to ask if her hair's pretty? Don't do the beat. You are breathing hard into your mic, gal. Who, me? Yeah. My why bad. do you know... Answer me questions about <laughs> hair. Don't ask me. I don't know. Girl, I kind of need to ask. Girl, me. you totally do know. Um, did we ask her um, why she feels that she needs to ask if her hair is pretty? Why do you ask about if your hair is pretty? I'm insecure, doctor. Oh, god damn that it. Worked. Isn't it obvious? She totally is a siren. She's absolutely siren vibes. Okay, thank god that cleared that out. I don't I don't know why. I don't care. All right. All right, Mariana. Oh, that's right. She was like, "Oh, oh, that's the sea bitch is still there." God damn it. Okay, did you like Dr. Decker cuz she was like I'm better behaved. Which patients did he date? He went out for drinks. Didn't you know? He said it was a breach of something or the other, but... A breach? I can be pretty persuasive when I want to be. Uh-huh. Did they just go out for drinks? I thought Mariana said she didn't drink. Uh, Real no, talk, yeah. Special power buttons. No, because that's it gave us that hint. So I'm just gonna do breach. You know, like a breach of ethics or something. Girl doesn't ask for details. Bad idea. Bad idea. Did that Mariana. clear anything? Because I feel like it should. No, it did not. Ah. It did not. It did not. All right, girl. He went out for drinks. Didn't you know? No. No, I did not know you went out for drinks. Oops. Drinks. Yeah, drinks. I think Dr. Decker ordered neat whiskey. I had water. I don't drink. Uh-huh. I still don't believe that. I don't either. Okay, this one is now green, along with the bottom one is now green. Or the original question was now green, so now this one's green. What do we still have left? Did he always get a dry whiskey? Sorry, say that. Okay. Was that yeah, his drink drinks. of choice? I think Dr. Decker ordered neat whiskey. I neat water. whiskey. I don't drink. Why did you go out for drinks if you don't drink? Neat whiskey? You know what? <laughs> Fine. I'll get... I don't know. Girl. When did you go out for drinks? What was the date that you went out for drinks? Dr. Decker did date his patients. Not me. I'd never agree. A drink is not a date. But drinks is a date. What? What's even more wild is it didn't clear it, but... Really? No, did it clear anything down here? No, it didn't. Okay. 
Dr. Decker did date his patients. Not me. I'd never agree. I drink. Why would you not agree? Why? Though it told me not to ask him this. Why would you not agree? Uh. Why would you not agree to date Dr. Decker? <laughs> People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. We had a lot of things in common, but we weren't seeing each other. This is answering, this is giving us more questions. Honestly, yeah, oh. no, nothing is answering right. anything at all. How was he more than a therapist? <laughs> no idea. Okay. People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. We had a lot of things in common, but we weren't seeing each other. What did you have in what? common? Yep. Yep. What did you have in no common? No idea. Oh my god. What did... Oh my god. Did you and Dr. Decker have in common? I am gonna go insane. Oh, it cleared. Did you like Dr. Decker? But now we have this uh, and this one. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting closer. We're only at green dots. Okie dokie. Let's go. Um. Hi, Cusco. Why is it, baby? I know. Okay. People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Aww. Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. We had a lot of things in common, but mm -hmm. we weren't seeing each other. Why weren't you seeing each other? Yeah. Why? Did we ask that? I feel like we did. Weren't you seeing each other? Oh, Don't maybe know. we can ask who he dated. I think we did already. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. We did. Because we asked for names and she gave us people. But, uh, oh, right, right. I forget who. Hi, uh... Cusco. Hello. Can I help you? No, just tearing up my chair. Okay. Let me know when you're done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are you coming up on the desk? No? Okay. Um. Play her last thing again. People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. Labels we on everything? We had a lot of things in common, but we weren't seeing each other. Right. Let's ask about the labels. Maybe, yeah, um, just labels, Ooh. question mark? Labels? I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. What? Are you offering, Doctor? Um. How did you get from point A to point B? I'm not gonna ask. No. I am not offering. I don't date my patients. I have standards. It sounded like an offer to me, doctor. No. Uh, okay. Man. That cleared that out. We still have drinks. And I think. How that's many it. times did she go out with Doctor Decker? Ooh. How many? Oops. Times did you go out for drinks? with Dr. Decker. We only went out for drinks that one time. Okay. Uh, did that, did that clear that out? Da, da, da. It did? Question mark? Double check. Yes, it did. What else do we have with- Oh, hi, Sea Witch. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't been back to the beach since our last session, and no blackouts, new doctor, and new hope. You're much better behaved than Dr. Decker. Okay. No blackouts? Yeah, I think so. New hope? A hope for a cure, of course. Do you want a cure? Oh, we're not getting into this again. Or, yeah, you want a 
Sure. Well, that cleared High Sea Witch, but now we're at <laughs> New Hope. Cure? I want to stop having blackouts. I want to be able to remember. I want you to fix me. Didn't she say this exact thing last time? Like, verbatim? Yes. Yeah. I think she did. I will try my best to fix you. I will help you remember. Don't ask me. Girl, what else do you need? Are you still... Ugh! There's like a whole topic we are missing, apparently. You only went out one time? I don't... What do you want? Have you been dancing? Oh, we totally forgot about the dancing. I've danced around in my living room, but no clubs since last time. I like dancing around in my underwear. Sometimes less. Girl. What? Miss Ma'am. <laughs> Seriously, what is... <sighs> If she's not a siren... <laughs> that... I am glad you are still dancing. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what they... You, what, you know what? In my living room, we're, we're gonna... No clubs. We're gonna ask, no do you clubs? dance naked? Sorry. Naked dancing? <laughs> Doctor, I don't think our relationship has got to that point yet. <laughs> that Listen, cleared bitch, it. you have tried- ah! That cleared it. But she's still not done. Or else it would have kicked us out. Mariano, what do you want? I don't want to keep using hints. No, I don't want to ask <sighs> someone else a question. We're gonna- well, actually, we probably could come back to her and see if she ever went to the beach. Or if someone else saw her at the beach. Was anyone at the beach? Was anyone yeah. at the beach? Was anyone at the beach with you? Why have you stopped going to clubs? <laughs> no idea. It Clubs? Uh... Dance moves? Girl, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Um... I haven't been back to the beach since our last session. I kind missed, of missed the it. beach. Uh... What do you miss about the beach? That is not the same question. This Jaya one keeps scaring me. Honestly, yeah. Her jump scare was not... Well, I keep thinking we have, like, a green star and we don't. So there's just something we are fully missing. I've danced around in my living room, but no clubs since last time. I like dancing around in my underwear. Sometimes... <laughs> Why do you like dancing with no clothes on? <laughs> Thank God. Make it dancing? Doctor, I don't think our relationship has got to that point yet. <laughs> yet? Yeah. Clueless. Um. What? Relationship? Heck? Yeah. Don't know. Are you. Where do looking? you think our relationship is? Where do you think our relationship is no idea <laughs> listen are you Linda. single 
Yeah, let's Sorry, just be straight up again? with her. Want to go out to dinner? <laughs> uh... Dinner? No idea. Dinner Date? to show, ma'am? What? Movie? I don't... Swimming? <laughs> Swimming? Don't ask me. Tango? Tango. Sorry, say that again. Uh... Delta? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Dress? I don't know. Dress up? Don't know. Necklace? Don't ask me. I don't know. Jewelry? What was the question that preceded this one? Uh, there was no question. We talked about a cure. And then we hinted out that she... Like, have you been dancing? And she I've was danced like, around in my living room, but uh, no yeah. clubs since last time. Yeah. I like dancing around in my underwear. Sometimes. Fine. Sometimes less. Clueless. Lies. Well, that's good. No idea. Oh my god. Alright, we'll come back to her. God. There's something we're clearly missing, but I don't know what. So we will just come back. I don't feel like dealing with Jaya right now. Do we want Nathan or Claire? Mm. Claire. My girl. Alright. Hi, Claire. How have you ruined your husband's life today? today? I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. Okay. Why did you go to the lake house? Why did you go to the lake house? I stood for a while, looking across the water. Sure, that's it's what I asked. There. <laughs> the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Okay. Oh. A little girl? What did she look like? What did she, what did the little girl look like? I don't know why I talked to her. She looked okay, sad. Okay, that's also not what I asked. Talk to children. <laughs> but she seemed different. Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, doctor? Yes, no one said you couldn't. Yes, you are allowed to talk to her. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. Good. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. I don't think that's a smart idea. But, uh... No. <laughs> um... Uh... How was she special? I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creature that she's seen in the water. How did she remind you of you? Are you bored? Do you want me to talk about something else? No, that's why I asked you a question. Yeah. Um, uh, ba da ba da ba da Reminded you of yourself. Which part of the angle? Perhaps we should change the subject. I am struggling greatly. Moving on. Uh, We're gonna get down to all these double about voice Mariana? In No. I don't know. She's at the lake I house. She just about the oh, right, ocean. Right. Yeah. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. Why were you alone as a child? Yeah. Were you alone as a child? Sorry, I don't know. I Alone? I don't know anything about that. Alone as a child? There's very little I'm not willing to talk about, Doctor. But I'm... Woman. Hmm. I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creature that she's seen in the water. 
Okay. What strange creature? Strange creature? I don't know. Minnows, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. That's cleared out. I'm not asking. Yeah, further. that's fair, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Let's go on this one again. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor? No. You cannot go find her. I don't mean I'm going to hunt her down. Just if I see her, I'll talk to her again. Well, I'm glad that cleared it out. All right, next one. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. Why did she look sad? Why was she sad? Something. Yeah. Or but why did you think different. she was sad? Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? Doctor? Yeah. How did she seem sad? David had been hunting again, and, well, uh, um, she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. David hunts? Could you narrow it down a bit? What? How? Skins? Animal skins. Um, David hunts uh, them uh, skins. Okay. It's horrible, really. Um, I'm su he's not really I shouldn't be surprised job, that so worked, but I am. The skins still have great lumps of bloody carcass hanging off them. I'm sure he'll get better with practice. I thought he was sick. Yeah, I thought um, you stabbed him. Right. I thought he was but I also thought you hated him. Yeah. David had been hunting again, and, well, she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. Maybe just straight up ask. I thought he was sick. <laughs> I thought David was sick. David wasn't there. What? Or at least I didn't see him. Oh, okay, well. I didn't go inside. Um, I forgot my key. And the spare was missing. Do you know where it was? Did you find the spare? I don't have an answer for you. Mm. Spare was missing? I see what you're trying to do. But I really don't. I really wish you did. David wasn't there. Where was David? Well, I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, why didn't you I go inside? My key, okay. And the spare was missing. Yeah, why didn't you go inside? Why didn't you have your keys? <laughs> Sorry. Why didn't you go inside that you just told us? I, I don't know. Hi, Kuska. Why won't you answer me? Why won't you oops, you answer me? Perhaps we should change the subject. Yeah, I am certainly uh -huh. struggling. <laughs> um, okay, so she's like, where was David? I thought, thought, thought David couldn't walk. I thought you would answer one of these questions. David wasn't there. David wasn't there. Great. Or at least I didn't see him. Did you look for I didn't David? Go inside. Um, I forgot my key, and the spare was missing. David nope, wasn't there. No, shut up. Did you look for David? Spare key? I'm sure I had a spare key for the. Oh my Jesus! I can't find it anywhere. I got the screen. I don't really need one if David is around. Well, where the fuck was David? Oh, sorry. Tell us <laughs> <laughs> how you really loser. feel. <laughs> I don't know why, but Claire getting on my damn nerves tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> uh, well, that cleared all that out. Thank God. Let us go back down. Why did you go to the lake house? I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's How the is it place peaceful? that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. The most what? 
by the lake, uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Huh. Where was the girl's parents? <laughs> Sorry. Well, of course she didn't. Please, uh, Tori, you've seen anime. You know I she's know. an anime protagonist. She has Truly. no parents. Bruh, it's not even that. She's just living clonade at this rate. <laughs> That's a reference. That's a deep poll. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about clonade in, like, a minute. Clonade, clonade. Either What's way. What's so funny is I watched it backwards. I watched the second one first, and then ha the first what? one. Yeah. I, well, because I couldn't find the first one, and well, yet no, when I went fair, to go, actually. when I went to go back, I was like, "Yo, why am I still not getting any new information? Why am I feeling like I'm missing none of the story here? <laughs> this is just copy and pasted, both traumatic as is." But anyhow, um, uh, you feel the most what? I see what you're trying to do. You feel the most dot 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 dot. Sorry, I don't know any You you certainly should. What'd you I say? I stood for a while looking across the water. It's peaceful there. How is it it's peaceful? The place that makes me feel the most. Hey Pusco. There was a girl there. Hey baby. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Why is it peaceful? Why is it peaceful? There's very little I'm not with. I don't have an. Cusco, what does Claire want? Do you want to type for me? <laughs> oh my god, you should let it. <laughs> you want to type, Papa? <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> Okay, okay. He's like pawing up at me. Then Come he on. definitely wants to play too. Come here. <laughs> Get on the. Yep, nope. Come on. Oh, you are so sweet. You are so sweet. You are my son. Come here. Oh, okay, Papa. Tight. Ooh, good job. Wow. She's gonna know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> Go. Send it. I I don't know. She didn't know. How Pusco. dare I'm she? So sorry. She insulted my poor son. We hate Claire. <laughs> we hate Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Can't insult Cusco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why did why did you not talk to my cat but talk to some special little girl? Fishing. Uh, she lives on the other side. Oh of the lake. no! She must be new. I haven't seen her there before. What? <laughs> Please tell me it didn't put that in there. Uh, no! Uh... <laughs> oh, hi, Cusco. Hi, baby. No, I have no kitty yogurts for you. I'm sorry, I don't. If people want to donate money to the Cusco Kitty Yogurt Fund. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, that didn't lead any questions, but we're gonna ask. Read this uh, again. She lives on the other side of the lake. She must be new. I haven't seen her there before. Have you? Have you seen her parents? I don't know anything about that. Perhaps she should. Okay. Where were you on Valentine's Day? <laughs> we're we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Where were you? The day Dr. Becker was killed. I hate that. Uh, I had a oh. session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. Okay. That was the last time I saw him. Okay. Okay, but what'd you do after that? What did you do after the session? Dr. Decker made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. I'll be taking it to the grave with me, though. As the tea. That's the tea! <laughs> Okay, let's go back to our notes. Claire, she had a session with Dr. D at 11 
on Valentine's Day. Then he made her a uh, offer. She could not refuse and will take it to her grave. Just as he did. Okay. Glad we noted that. The Spooky Movie Tale. Thank you, babe. Okay. You know what? I'm going to ask anyways. No, I'm not. I'm not going to type. <laughs> <laughs> An offer? I forgot there was more animated that <clears throat> excites Damon. Yeah. He talked a lot. What did he talk about? <laughs> talk about? Are you bored? You sounded like Lemon Grove. So to talk about something else. <laughs> what was... My god. Oh my god. What's Dr. Decker talking about? Oh, I can't type. I don't have an answer for you on that one. Yes, you do. You're just taking it to your bloody grave. Alright. Dr. Decker was more animated that day. Excites Damon. He talked a lot. He... Dr. Decker seemed excited. Instead of his usual sarcasm and rebuttals, he seemed genuinely excited. Presumably he had a date. <clears throat> oh no. Did he say he had a date? I see what you're trying to... Oof. Did Dr... Decker have a date on Valentine's Day? <sighs> uh... they, oh my god. Did Thanks, you go doctor. on a date with the doctor? Had a date on va Valentine's Day. How many uh, Mr. Weenentine Day? Did you <clears throat> go on a date with him? There's very little I'm not... Did you like Dr. Decker? Dude, Perhaps nah, that's a change good the question. Sub what? Apparently it wasn't to her. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, Alright, so we have Hi Claire. We asked about Valentine's Day. So, let's reread this. It's the anniversary of my parents' death. Oh yeah, how'd your parents die? Oh my god! <laughs> how did your parents die? I forgot Please. about them. Blood is possible. died of carbon monoxide poisoning. What? what? I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would have died too. Well, we got her to orange, which, great. We're not done talking. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, no! Okay. Oh. Ooh. The carbon uh, monoxide okay. question mark? Yeah, well, that's a spelling that I'm not ready for. I got um, you, I got you. Oh, hold up. I can... I can do one of these. <clears throat> carbon monoxide detector. Nope. Don't need that. <laughs> Parents died of... Look at that. Copy and paste. Tori's on a roll. Poisoning. Copy and paste. I'm not sure. It was a faulty boiler, I think. You're lying. I feel like you did it. Girl, you know, what? Psychopath. A faulty... What the hell did she say? Boiler? Sorry, I don't... Yes, you do. Your parents died from it. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would have died too. That is con. That is tragic. Are you bored? That is tragic. Did I you am... kill your parents? Did you kill your parents? Do you think I killed my parents? Damn. <laughs> oh no. Perchance. Well, did you? Sorry. 
Yes. I do. Think. Oh, shit. <laughs> killed. Your parent. I really shouldn't say this, because we want her on our side. Yeah. Oh, but the temptation. No. <laughs> I do not think you killed. Oops. <laughs> you kill her. <laughs> Even my subconscious mistypos want to say it. <laughs> I do not think you killed your parents. It's okay if you think I killed them. Well, thank God. You wouldn't be the first to draw that conclusion. Damn. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. You're used to it? Why are you, you, oh my god, you used to it? I, I don't know. Did you ever find David? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that. David? <clears throat> find? I don't know anything about that. Find David, Claire. Okay. Anyway, so how'd your parents die? Carbon monoxide. No, I don't think you killed your parents. Uh. Cool. Because <laughs> I do think... Were you close you... to them? Ooh. <clears throat> Were you close to your parents? Ooh. Your parentals. Yes. I love my parents very much. I bullshit. They were very good parents. It was hard letting them go. How do you feel about it now? Uh, how do you feel about your parents' death now? Well, it's still green, so... They huh. died of carbon monoxide Not poisoning. That person. I was staying at a friend's house. Why were you at a friend's house? Too. Why were you at a friend's house? Okay. Would you say to were you close to your parents? There's nothing but this. Yes, I love my parents very much. They were very good parents. How were they good parents? I I don't know. Well, then I guess they weren't that good. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> Um, they died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house. What happened was... after they died? Oh, maybe, yeah. Or, who do you think? No. Maybe, do you think someone killed your parents? I don't have an answer for you on that one. Do you think your parents were murdered? They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was there. Did the girl time. kill them? I would have died too. How do you know you would have died? Yeah, that's How actually do a really you good know question. you would have died? Too? I mean, except Are for you it being, you know, carbon monoxide. What friend? <laughs> I don't remember my friend's name. She was a girl from my school. Vicky, Charlotte, it's not really important. I think it is, but it cleared it out, so I'm glad yeah, no, we're ignore done. ignore it. Whatever, have fun. Uh, Claire, what else? Oh, we still have high Claire. Okay, what else is there to <laughs> dissect about this? It's the anniversary of my, my parents', parents death. death. Talked about them. I went to the lake house. Let's talk more about the lake house. the lake house anyway, but it's also where they died. So they died in the lake house. Where did the carbon monoxide come from? Right, because this lake house was in the middle of BFE. <laughs> yeah, so ask that. Where did the... Come from? <laughs> nope. 
Okay. Are you just copy pasting that every time? Oh yeah, I'm not losing that. I ain't respelling that mess out. <laughs> uh, girl, what is she? Why do you? Oh, who you... are your parents? Who are your parents? She rich. There's so very little I'm not them. willing to talk about, Doc. She doesn't know about it. The f Why do you always go to the lake house? Woman, if you don't... Why do you mourn do you... at the lake house? Why do you mourn at the lake house? I see what you're trying to do. What did you don't do at the lake did. house? What did you do at the lake house? They keep saying we're talking about this already. What when did your parents we... die? When did your parents die? Oh my god. It was 12 what? years ago. Uh, I was still very young. Too young to be an orphan anyway. I had to toughen up quickly. How did you toughen up? Because it doesn't seem like you did. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people. Lots of men. So that is an opportunity. What kind of opportunity? What kind of... Oh no. Opportunity? <laughs> is that right? That doesn't look right. O-P-P-O-R-T-U-N-I-T-Y It didn't look right, but... Some tried to seduce me. Ooh. Some thought I wanted a new daddy. Most of them were the same age as my parents. And yet Ooh. I'm the one here talking to you. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Enormous fortune? Yes, money. Everybody wants it, but what use is it really? Look at me. Am I happy? Am I loved? Am I living? Do you think David loves you? Do you think David loves you? Do you love David? Oh my god. Love? Yeah. I suppose I always will. You literally stabbed him. Right. Are mm. you happy? I don't know anything about that. Because where was that? Yes, money. Everybody wants it. But what use is it really? Look at me. Am I happy? Am I loved? Am I living? Are... Why Do don't you, you think you're living? What? Oh my god, why don't you think you are living? Sorry. That's a lie. Are you happy? Perhaps we should change the subject. Do you feel happy? Perhaps we should change the subject. Were you happy? Were you happy? I don't have an answer. Were you happy that your parents died? <laughs> <laughs> like... Sorry, I don't- Thank God. I was Oof. like, is this what they're really wanting me to ask? Okay, so Claire, what the hell do we- We have nothing left! Claire! God, Did she inherit the fortune? Yeah. Because they left her with it. Some tried to seduce me. Some thought I wanted a new daddy. Most of them were the same age as my parents. Yeah. And yet I'm the one here talking to you. Some try nope. Alright. I can't believe I get to use this. Daddy? I don't know anything about Daddy. that. Daddy. Okay. Okay. Of course she doesn't. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god, it's so cold in my apartment. 
I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm like covering in all the Okay. Bones, so I'm extra, extra what cuddly. But. Do you want full? What do you, you want? You should just ask her that. What do you want, girl? <laughs> what do you want, girl, out of living? <laughs> living? I, I don't know. Same. Oof. Are you bored? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Please, no. There's very little I'm not willing to I talk will about. say, though, I do appreciate that um, the minute... <laughs> She said both her parents died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Both of us, like, in unison without missing a beat, just went, wait, what? <laughs> like, like, Claire's how? stories are so out of pocket. Like, the other ones are just like, okay, yeah, these things happen. And Claire's She's are so always frank. the most surprising. <laughs> She's so frank. And, like, what is she... What does she want? Like, what are yeah. the questions that we have that we still need to we have nothing through. on her right now fucking serious yeah no we have her at the same exact spot as mariana there's still more we need but like cause i doubt there's even any hints um, oh did we ask oh. her we asked her what Dr. she was doing Decker? on valentine's night we asked this fine valentine's day night i was at the lake house watching david like I always do. How? Ugh. What was David doing? What was David doing? I'm gonna scream! Girl, stop. I would have slapped the books out of her hands. Just like, you are here paying me money. If you want to read, fine. But don't you can read in front of me while I'm trying to therapize you. On Valentine's Day night, she was at the lake house. And only with the lake Dickon. house. Okay. Uh, okay. What were you doing on Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day night, I was at the lake house watching David like I always do. Sometimes Why do you have to watch David? Why do you have you know to answer, watch but... David? Anything with David pops up to that and it's driving me. Where is day. David? How did you meet David? Is the other question. Matt isn't the right word. What? David has always been there in the shadows, on the periphery. I move in very exclusive circles. You tend to see the same faces. Exclusive circles? I don't know. Exclude. That doesn't look right. E X C L U S I V E. Circles. I don't move in any circles anymore. What? No. Those people were my parents' friends, not mine. Not just that, they're all dead. Who are your parents' friends? Who was your parents' friends? I've known David forever. What? It seems like he's always been in my life, one okay. way or another. It was a family Is David friend. an old man? It's different now, of course. I don't know. To when I first met him. I felt like he was protecting me then. Uh, what do you know? Uh, Nothing could hurt me when he was there. Do you need protecting? <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Are you bored? God, what? woman! Would you talk? <laughs> Everything's a dead end with these fools tonight. Oh my god. Uh... Alright, we no longer have to ask about that. Valentine's this. Day night, I was at the lake house, watching David, like I always do. Do you watch him every night? I don't have an answer. What? Do Watch uh, often? Perhaps we should change the Watch? I see what you're trying to- <laughs> Oh, I'm going Why to were you watching you. David? Why were you watching your flipping husband? Your husbando. Who, 
who's a corpse <laughs> at this point from how you describe describe him like do you even care oh about God. him that's not even good sorry just straight up, why were you watching him? Why were you... You watching David? He has trouble with his mental faculties. We've I'm asked this 800 him. other ways. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll watch him and make sure nothing bad happens. You stabbed him! You're the bad! But I'm so glad we're done with you. I'm so glad! Oh Wait, my we're done god. with her? Yes, we're Thank done god. forever and always. Do... You know what? Do you watch David too? <laughs> Don't know. Okay, great. Nathan. I don't want to deal with Jaya yet either. And we no. gotta go back to Ding Dong at some point. <laughs> Fucking Irish Ding Dong. Alright, Nathan. Yo. So how many days How many days do you has watch David? It been for you? <laughs> <laughs> do you watch David too? I don't know what you're talking about. Thank God. I'm going to rename the stream and it's just going to be how many days do you watch David? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi Nathan. Hello again, doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. Just I f wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are piled of ashes. Why did you burn her clothes? Okay. You psycho. I love how open they all are being. For real, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's break this down. You... Why do you regret it? I guess, you know what, why, why do did... you regret yeah. it? I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. That's why. Just the clothes. Odd. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Oh. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. And I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favourite season was. Does it matter? What's your favorite season, Doctor? I like Paul. <laughs> <sighs> My favorite season is fall. I thought you'd be an autumn person. Yeah, <laughs> that means you're supposed to be grounded and productive. And you like your space. That tracks. Well, that was a call-out post. Uh <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite season, sir? What is your favorite season? I like winter. Being snowed in with Hannah. Just the two of us. It's Aww. paradise. That's actually really cute. Very Coming precious. from Claire, who's a psycho, to I Nathan, saw. who's less of a psycho. Ugh. They all whacked. Um, <laughs> Why did you okay. burn her clothes then? Okay, why did you burn her clothes? Okay. Ah, uh, well, okay. all right. Favorite season, so we're back at... Oh, why did you regret it? I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. Why? Just the clothes. Yeah, why? I decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. <sighs> Sorry. Why did you leave everything as Hannah left it? Pass. Please don't pass. Did Hannah donate to charity a lot? Did Hannah donate to... to Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Hannah was forever giving to charity. That's cute. Her, things, her time. Our money. I'm selfish. Oh, no. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mindstretch Outreach. 
Oh um, no. What's mine... my stretch outreach? Outreach? Mind stretch outreach arranges programs for gifted children. It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private education. It's not much of a charity, I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people right now. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. Why did he set it up? Why was he running a charity? I... Mind Stretch Outreach arranges programs for gifted children. It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private poor, education. Poor, clever kids. It's not much of a charity, I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people running it. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. Um. Poor, clever... Poor, clever kids. Kids? I don't know. I wish you did. Did Hannah meet Dr. Decker? Did Hannah meet Dr. Decker? There's more than one question there, Doctor. There's actually There's not. There's not. Dr. Decker? Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. What? The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. Accurate. he cursed me. That's even a thing. Yeah. Why do you think he cursed you? You. Yes, Dr. Decker cursed me. Cursed I don't you. really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? What advice do you need? Or, uh... Move on from him. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. My ed advice would be to move on from Hannah. I've been trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. Fair. I could set fire to Hannah's photographs. Oh. I've got them in Dropbox, anyway. But setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair. Which I've not sat in since. Which one do you think's best? Do you like I fire? I think the photographs are the better choice. Jesus. Photographs it is then. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Your day's going to continue, I'm sure. Do you like fire? Do you like fire? I think fire is very primal in terms of energy. Maybe if I burn um. something, my days will keep rolling. Although I'm not sure you're supposed to encourage arson in these sessions, Doctor. I'm not. I'm not. I am not saying to be a uh, arson who who is it Lacey also set shit on fire yeah they all are fucking maniacs <laughs> <laughs> maniacs maniacs okay Hannah Charity in mine reach place mm -hmm. why <laughs> did Dr. Decker work at mine stretch outreach <laughs> Why did Dr. Decker create Mind Stretch Outreach? I think Dr. Decker set up Mind Stretch Outreach so that he could influence the minds of children at an early age. Groomer. Getting them to believe they could be anything they wanted to be. Since his death, it's been disbanded. No more minions of Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker had minions? Minions? It just felt like he was growing this child army of intelligentsia. Dude, grooming! Oh no! Okay! Well, hold. We gotta. We gotta go into. Noteland. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hannah donated a lot and was 
and donated Nathan... a lot to Mind Stretch Outreach. No, she was told to go there. Mm, but wouldn't she true. have been dead by the time he was visiting him? Because his days started going together when Hannah died. So how was um... he giving advice to Hannah? Let's ask again. Did Hannah ever meet Dr. Decker? Because, like, uh -huh. you bring up a very good Hannah point. Was... <clears throat> Hannah was told to donate to Mind Stretch Outreach, which is for poor, clever poor kids. kids. That cannot go to private schools, aka Dr. D groomed the shit out of them. Did Hannah Hannah meet Dr. Decker? Hannah never met Dr. Decker. Then she did donate to his charity once though. What? How? When did she donate to Dr. Decker's charity? Well, F you. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have Valentine's Day night to talk to him about because everything oh, else true, is cleared. Yeah. Um, everything where were else you is... on Valentine's Day? Where were you on Valentine's Day. I was at Henley Church on Valentine's oh, Day. Oh no! no! Visiting Hannah's grave. Oh no. It was the anniversary oh, no. of her death. What? Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. Epitaph? It's always a cool word. But. Okay, so she... Hannah died on Valentine's Day. What? Is that true? On Valen... Okay... I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day. Visiting Hannah's grave. It was the anniversary of her death. Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. What did you write? What did you write? I've got no What did you say? Did you... you say on the epitaph. E P I T A P H. We walk alone without our angel. Aww. Was Hannah That's your it? angel? Should I know something? <laughs> <laughs> angel? I'm not religious, but when I wrote Hannah's oh. epitaph, I knew her parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. <laughs> she was an angel beard. to me. Aww. She was an angel to everyone. Aww. I think I like Nathan death. the best. Angel of death. <laughs> Elin. <laughs> was Elin anywhere in the vicinity? Oh yeah, where was... Oh no, because Bryce was at the... Bryce was at the art gallery talking Museum. to... What's her face? Yeah. Jessica. Yeah. Oh no, Lacey is the crazy one. <gasps> yeah, Lacey's Jessica. the one that's like, my neighbor's husband is being charged for murder, but I don't think he murdered her, but like a monster did, but like he kinda yeah. did murder her. <laughs> that's that's Lacey. <laughs> I always she get can't... Lacey and Jessica confused. Like I think it's because that's they're better. still so new. Yeah. Okay. Adjust my um... seating arrangement. 
Did we clear mm -hmm. everything out for him? No, we have two orange ones, which is Valentine's Day and more on the epitaph. More on the epitaph? What else do we yeah. have to do there? I don't know, probably like... ask Walk Alone. <laughs> oh, it, is he lonely? Oh, let's ask. One of our favorite songs. <laughs> Are you Mr. Lonely? <laughs> I've been alone since that oh. time. I can't imagine anyone ever replacing her. Uh, Not that I've looked. You should probably look. Do you think I should look for someone else? Yes! We've yes. been saying yes. this already, yes. sir. I think you should I think you should move on someone else okay fine I'll try thank god I'm not really sure what I'm looking for though just sign up to tinder and start swiping <laughs> oh god yeah. maybe it's just company I'm missing although I don't really want any sure mm, okay cool that's all we need to do there with the epitaph okay cool okay. um I was at Henley Church on Henley Valentine's Church. Day oh, god, the Hen visiting Henley Hannah's Church. grave it's the anniversary of her death Okay. When did he wanted leave? A huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But does or how long was he there? Yeah. To write the epitaph. How long were you at Hannah's grave? Did you set fire to the church Dr. about eleven o'clock? Eleven o'clock. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? What? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Who did... I see. Who on. do you think committed the crime? Was at... <laughs> Was at Hannah's... Grave till 11 on Valentine's Day and says to ask Jaya about the Gets defensive. Seeing she saw him that day. Uh, also, the dirt boy at. No, I can't do that. The Ark. Archaeologist <laughs> found a octopus uh, fossil. I think is what I said. Fossil at the dig site. Big weird. Big weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big oof. All right. What the hell did you say? Church. About 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. Okay. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Uh -huh. Strange place to find an octopus, really. Is what? What's a cephalopod? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Listen, sir. We did that. <sighs> That's not really something I know. Uh, oh my god. Arc. Octopus. Octopussy? It's a sea creature, like an octopus. I suppose they find dinosaur bones everywhere. Just because we're on land now doesn't mean millions of years ago this place wasn't at the bottom of an ocean. Uh, respect, I guess. Okay, so we asked about the octopus. I left Henny Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's uh -huh. Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. No. Uh. No, I do not think you had something to do with the murder. It was, it was a missed call. What? It was what? Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Who called you? Yeah, who called you? Like, we... Who called you? Caught up me. Sorry. Uh, did Dr. Decker... Did you talk to Dr. Decker on Valentine's Day? Yeah. 
I am going to lose my mind. What did Dr. Decker Sorry. think of you? Missed call? Sorry. What? Who did you miss a call from? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you effing it do. Was, it was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Uh, when did you get a call? Can't help you. Did you um, like Hannah's parents? I don't know. Did you Jesus. like Hannah's parents? Parentals? He's also That's breathing again. Really something. What? He's breathing again. It was it was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Why weren't you in the mood? Why weren't you in the mood to to talk? To talk. I meant I wasn't in the mood to talk to Dr. Decker. Okay. Oh, okay, that's something. I cleared it out. I'm not asking any further. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was anyone else at the grave site? Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Did Hannah's parents show up to the grave? Um... F what happened with the archaeologist? Like, that was pretty out of nowhere. What happened with the archaeologist? She was interested. What? what? Maybe I misread. Maybe she was just being kind. I, I suppose most women wouldn't enjoy me talking about my dead ex for hours. <laughs> uh, you're at a grave, sir. What do they expect? It cleared it out. Don't know what that had to do with uh, anything. No, but... none of the past few things that Nathan has talked about had to do with literally anything. Yeah, like, I, I nothing don't know. we asked. His AI went off the rails, it but really did though. Lucky for us, he is now at the same step as Mariana. Oh god damn it! Where we have nothing. Well, we can hint him. Screw it. Tell me about your mother. Sure, what? she's dead. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> How did she die? Yep. God That's damn. What... <laughs> How did your mom die? <laughs> she stopped breathing. I don't know. That's sick. <laughs> Something to do with her lungs. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um... okay. Let's go to our notes. <sighs> His mom to do died with when he was <laughs> six, and she just stopped breathing. What Something did Dr. Decker think of you? Like, <laughs> just out of curiosity. Like, what the f***? I don't know, but he's done. So all we have left is Mariana, and then we have Jaya. Oh, cool. Which, I feel like we should just try to finish off Mariana. Yeah, with the time we have left. Yeah, because I think Jaya will be much quicker than we expect, and I don't want to move yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's I wanna fair. Just... Okay. Alright, Mariana. God damn it. She looks cold. That's the hint. Do you Give... want a jacket? Sorry, say that again. Do you it want a blanket? Cold. Are you cold? It's uh it's a bit chilly in here. The leather is not warm either. The that weather. cleared her. What? That cleared it. Are you sick? Okay, well, Jaya it is. Yep, alright, hold on. I hate I'm this. Gonna... That was... That was stupid. She was cold. 
and she stupid. She was cold in our office. <laughs> New symptom of being a nutcase. I mean, if she's cold, I think that causes blackouts sometimes. Maybe. I don't know, but we'll note it down down. Uh, All right, Jaya. God. Hi, woman. Hey, you. Thanks for helping me with Jesus. this grief thing. I'm not sure I have it, though. Why are you not sure? Why are you not sure and wasting my time? Sorry, Doctor. Why are you not What sure? do you think grief is? I don't is? know anything about What do you think gr 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 grief -E is? G-R-I-E-F. I don't really know where to start. I feel a bit numb. It's called grief, you Maybe dumbass. Maybe we should just talk about him. Alright. Alright. Uh... Let's... Alright, Doc. I'll hit him with the the Dr. good old Decker tried and true. Mark. Hadn't even been a year. Hadn't even been a year. He was a quiet, year. solitary man. Yeah. A good listener, as I suppose you'd need to be. Mm -hmm. His confidence did grow as time wore on, but that's what you'd expect after you fitted in. What? I mainly miss our chats. He used to work late with me and tell me things about the patients, things that I probably shouldn't have heard, but did. What do you think of the patients? Nah, perhaps you shouldn't say. You can ask me. Go on, I'll tell you what I think. Okay, fine. Tell me about Bryce. <laughs> tell me about Bryce. I think Bryce has a lot of misdirected anger. I don't think I like him that much. You know, Nobody sometimes does. when things overrun, he's outside waiting for you. And he stares at me as if he's undressing me with his eyes. You know, he's not the first person that's done that. But still, you know, it feels worse coming from him. Still, in it. Okay. Woman, we are noting this down. Where's our Jaya notes? <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks. Bryce has some misguided Angie thoughts. And undresses her with his eyes. A.K.A. she no likey him. Okay. Tell me about Nathan. Oh, I just want to cuddle Nathan all up. He's such a mess. He's always in the same clothes. You know, he barely talks to me, though. It's the same hello every time. He reminds me of Tom. Who the fuck's Tom? Who's Tom? We'll, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, wants to cuddle Nathan <laughs> and reminds her of Tom. Who is Tom? <laughs> Tom was a quiet mess, like Nathan. Youngish in his early 20s, he taught piano. But he did have a strange hobby. Strange hobby. Tom liked to base jump. That's basically falling from a huge building or mountain and pulling your parachute before you hit the ground. He started to think he could fly. Dr. Decker tried to talk him out of it, but Tom had to prove his point. So one day, Tom decided to base jump without a parachute. Can you guess what happened? Oh! oh. <coughs> Splash. Tom died? He did die. He was hit by a rock from <laughs> further up the mountain. He never got to fly. Nathan thinks he knows what his problem is too, but if he's not careful, Ew. he'll get hit by that rock. I wish I'd said goodbye. Do you Why regret do not you... saying goodbye? Do you regret not saying Oops. goodbye? I wish I'd said goodbye to Dr. Decker. It was so sure. sudden. Here, then gone. He resigned anyway, but that's not the same, is it? Okay. 
I'm not gonna monitor my nerves with theirs. Okay. Tom liked to base jump then yeeted <laughs> himself then wanted to yeet to yeet himself without a parachute yeah parachute but a rock came and crushed him uh thinks that Nathan knows what his deal is but may also get smacked with a rock of insanity <laughs> okay uh, uh wishes she could have said goodbye to Dr. D. Alright, girl. I have to sneeze. Um, <laughs> feel it. I wish I'd said goodbye to Dr. Decker. It was so sudden. A here, then gone. He resigned anyway, but that's not the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. He resigned? Dr. Decker resigned shortly before his murder. No, it's sad, but doctors come and go, and only poor Jaya remains. I've got his resignation. Jaya, that's how you somewhere. say your name. You know, I do all the hiring and firing around here. Well, Professor Alderby and the trust technically do that. Okay. Okay, dokey. Doctor D resigned. I want to see that piece of paper. <laughs> well, all right. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had the gall to send that kind of letter. Oh my god. On February 11th. Uh. Okay. Alright, Jaya, I know there's more that you want. Dr. Decker resigned shortly before his murder. No, it's sad. But doctors come and go, and only poor Jaya remains. I've got his resignation letter somewhere. You know, I do all the hiring and firing around here. Well, uh -huh. Professor Alderby and the Trust technically do that. The Trust? I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't know. I don't want to spell that guy's name. Uh, Dr. Decker resigned shortly Trump before his murder. murder. Why did he sad. resign? But doctors come and go and only poor Jaya remains. I've got his resignation letter somewhere. You know, I do all the hiring and firing around here. Well, Professor Alderby and the Trust technically do that. Did who are they? <laughs> Professor Alderby is a trustee. Did I not mention that? No. No. No, you did not mention that. It's very interesting that you asked me that. It's not something I can answer, though. Why not? No, you did not mention Professor... Alderby was a trustee. I think I'm going to get into trouble now. Trust... Oh, you actually had a response. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to get into trouble now. Why do you think you are going to get into trouble? This practice is owned by a trust. Mm -hmm. They make all the money and leave me to make all the decisions, which generally means making lots of money. I headhunted Dr. Decker. And you? 
That's great. Well, there's nothing more with that. I think I'm going to get into trouble now. Uh... This practice is owned by a trust. They make all the money and leave me to make all the decisions, which generally means making lots of money. Uh -huh. I headhunted Dr. Decker. And you? Why did you Why do you, you think you do me? everything? You yes, hire psycho? them. It's another thing that we have. Okay. Hmm. What is the name of the trust? I don't know about that, Doctor. I really wish you did. I've recruited the last five doctors since I've been here. Now I've got a flair for recognizing the extraordinary. Both you and Dr. Decker were extraordinary. Were we? Then why are you seeing me? Then why are you seeing me? I can't help you with that. Sorry. Okay. Uh-huh. X extraordinary both cambridge graduates both top of the class both pliable obedient slaves to my every whim yeah, that last one's more of a hope than a must have attribute mm -hmm. i'm glad we cleared that out okay jaya okay cool okay Okay, we still got other people to ask about, but we need to finish this older bee crap. Uh, All right. I think I'm going to get into trouble now. I don't know why. Bitch. Have you ever heard of secret oh. shoppers? Whoa. Well, Professor Alderby posed as a patient to test Dr. Decker. It's just a thing that he does. I'm sure he'll come and visit you at some stage, so please play along. Play along. Whoa. Play a lot. That was also not there before. I don't know. <laughs> Say that I all think again. I'm going to get into trouble now. Uh, have you ever heard of secret shoppers? Well, Professor Alderby posed as a patient to test Dr. Decker. It's just a thing that he does. I'm sure he'll come and visit you at some stage, so please play along. Secret shoppers? I think you might be barking up the wrong tree there. Please, you idiot! <laughs> you were telling me what to say. <laughs> okay, let us think. Secret shoppers. <laughs> yes, Secret I will no. play along. I've got no idea what you're talking I wish you did. I think I'm going to get into trouble now. Hey, Cusco. Uh, have you ever heard of secret shoppers? No. Well, Professor Alderby posed as a patient to test Dr. Decker. Why? It's what just did a thing that he on? does. I'm sure yeah. he'll come and visit you at some stage, so please play along. Why do you uh, think he'll yeah. visit me? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Why do you think... Oh my god, I think he will visit vis oh my god. <laughs> Me. I can't help you with that, sorry. Can you do anything? Apparently not. Uh, da, da, da. What did he test? Test is the wrong word. Oh, More da, like da. gently guide. Professor Alderby had a lot of good advice to offer the young psychiatrists. He really helps them focus on where the problems are. Don't gotta tell me twice. Okay, first things first, we gotta write down all this Alderby crap. For real. Prof Alderby is a secret shopper slash trust fund baby. <laughs> I think that sums it up. I'll definitely know what that means. Yeah, Okay. Actually. Tell me about Claire. Claire seems to be 
shaken by something. Uh-huh. You know, I offer her drinks every time she comes in, but she always refuses them. Yes, she it's should. as if she just wants to come in, get her session over with, and then run off to do something else. I would. It's rude, isn't it? No. I don't think so either. I don't think she's asking a question about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me about Elin. Elan. Elin seems like a lovely person. I'm not really sure why she's here. You dummy. Tell me about Lacey. Sorry, Doctor. I don't know. How about Tell Mariana? About, yep, Mariana. Mariana is a special girl. You know, there's something uh, about her that just makes you want to follow her. Maybe that's what a trendsetter looks like. Girl, don't follow her. She's going to lead you to the sea and she's going to kill you just like about... every siren. Who else is there? Jessica? Jessica? I don't know. Cool. Oh, there was, the... um, 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 the... Who's the... The guy that... I think threatened Dr. Decker? There was one she was talking about that was, like, hated Dr. Decker. Oh... Uh... Um. Uh. Nope. What's his name? Do we not have him in the notes anywhere? Mm mm. Did I just make that up? I don't know. Oh well. Um. Where were you on the night of the murder? Sorry, I wonder if I forgot. Oh, Jasmine. I doubt she shows up. Yeah, really. If Lacey didn't. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Cool. I have info on Bryce, all the patients. Claire, Doesn't Ellie, have info on half my... the patients. Right. Uh, um. Right. Where were... You on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, Dr. Decker had a session with Claire Castleford at 11 and that nurse, Elin, at 3. Everyone else cancelled. You should see this place Christmas Eve. I was at home, though, so I don't actually know who came in. Dr. Decker did phone and ask me for Nathan's number, which is a bit strange. Why did he want Nathan's number? Well, our notes want us to... Dr. Decker called Nathan the day he was murdered. I should ask Nathan. Well, I... Do we... I think He's we already cleared. did. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we already did. He's cleared, okay. Miss Notes. Sorry, Miss Notes. I'm ahead of your schedule, bro. <laughs> um... Okay. What else is there left? Apparently there's nothing there. There's more Dr. Decker mess. It hadn't even been a year. He was a quiet, solitary man. Mm -hmm. A good listener, as I suppose you'd need to be. (laughs) His confidence did grow as time wore on, but that's what you'd expect after you've fitted in. Mm -hmm. No. I mainly miss our chats. He used to work late with me and tell me things about the patients, things that I probably shouldn't have heard, but did. What do you think of the patients? Nah, perhaps you shouldn't say. You can ask me. Go on, I'll tell you what I think. Doesn't that breach confidentiality? No, I will not tell you. About the patients. Most of the patients are suspects, according to the police. Almost all the patients are referred, and some of them are privates. But Dr. Decker didn't introduce any of them. Introduce any of them? What do you... What does that mean? 
Introduce. I'm not trying to hide any. I wish you would know. I wish you would have any <laughs> idea. Well, it doesn't tell us anything about it. It hadn't even been a year. It hadn't even been a it year. Was a quiet, solitary man. A good listener, as I suppose you'd need to be. His confidence did grow as time wore on, but that's what you'd expect after you fitted in. I mainly miss our chats. He used to work late with me and tell me things oh, about why did you work things late? that I probably shouldn't have heard, but did. Mm. What do you think of the patients? Nah, perhaps you shouldn't say. You can ask me. Go on, I'll tell you what I think. Mm. What? Why did you work late? Why do you work late? Late. We'd work late together on all sorts of things. He was preoccupied with finding patterns in patients, patterns. trying to find some kind of order. Mm -hmm. Patterns? Question mark. Patterns. Mainly, he was searching for a common experience the patients might have had. That's what led them to his office. He'd study everything, even the referral letters. Referral letters? Yep, referral letters. Oh my god. Yes, letters, parking tickets, holiday destinations. You know, I find those referral letters. He was sure there was a pattern in them. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, Jaya. I'm gonna be real with you, girl. Uh, we gonna come back to this another day. <laughs> Jaya, you are. Because not only is none of this. We're none now green. Helps, We're doctored. No, we are now on green, Dr. Decker's. So there's only a few other things left. We're so um, close. Maybe. But she's still red. What was Dr. Decker like? What was Dr. I feel like we're Decker so close. Like? But we're not. That's the issue. She's still uh. red. She's still red. And there's nothing on here that has anything except for Dr. Decker. God damn it. It hadn't even been a year. He was a quiet, solitary man. A good listener, as I suppose you'd need to be. His confidence did grow as time wore on, but that's what you'd expect after you fitted in. I mainly miss our chats. Mm. He used to work late with me and tell me things what about can the patients, you tell things me that I probably shouldn't patients, have heard, but just did. Overall. What do you think of the patients? Nah, perhaps you shouldn't say. You can ask me. Go on, I'll... Nope. Uh, what do you think tell... about the patients? Or what can you tell me about them? They already did all that. Who did that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, so I looked it up. Apparently the it. angry guy's name is Ben. Oh, the gender? Yeah, tell me about Ben. So, should I get a solicitor, or shall we try and talk it out with him? What? Well, now she's Try orange. and talk it out? The fuck? Good choice. I'll go and see Ben to see if I can get him to call off the dogs. I have no idea what's gotten into him. Perhaps it's his mum. What's going on? What's his mom got to do with anything? I don't know. But we'll we'll get into Ben next time, I think. Yeah, I think that's a I good think... place to now that we have something kinda to go off of. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh this one my was a god. head scratcher. This one hurt me, but we uh, have yeah. two thirty four out of two forty for responses. 
Stupid Jaya. We're so close. We're so close with Jaya. Ah, we're a registrar now. Doctor, you're doing great. That's a lot of questions. Your patients like you. That's weird. You know what, girl? Why is that weird? Right. And then we got a new thing. Ooh. We're hey, doing good. Hey, tripper. Oh, inquisitive. A thousand guesses made. Whoa. Yay. That's because most of the time we get frustrated and try just about anything. But, uh, yep. Tori, you know what our viewers should try doing? Wishing me a happy birthday. Exactly, and you know one of the best ways to do that? By buying me rice cakes and manga. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and following us on all of our social media websites to then fund the rice cake fund. Exactly. Or so they way... can send you the rice cakes very much like Zero does through yeah. Discord. <laughs> true, true, true. He he owes me a many a rice cake. Yeah, especially after what two weeks ago. <laughs> it's been like three weeks in a row that he's been Lady McGady. No, so. he was pretty good today. That was great. I'm today. proud of him. Yeah, today his one day. <laughs> <laughs> his one day. It's all of you, be safe out there. You have a good evening, and we will see you next time. Exactly. Have a fun and enjoyable birthday, Tori. And we Thank will see you. you on the other side of 30. And to all Ooh. of you, have a good night. Bye. Doodles. Hello. If you want more content like the one you were just watching, click over in this area. If you want more plasma coin shenanigans, Definitely give us a follow and click over in here somewhere. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye!